today from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. It's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Seattle. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Now a first down throw, Kelly, and incomplete to open things up. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for, but it's going to be second down. You talk about this Seahawk defense, and this unit, very tough to throw against, currently second best in the NFL. Take those rankings, throw them right out the window, because this is what you prepare for, this is what you practice for, this is what you think about. The ultimate test, taking on the number one overall offense in the league. Under pressure now, and they get to Kelly. The safety blitz stays to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Here come the Seahawks in their offense now under veteran head coach Pete Carroll. And they'll be led out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. And he's been playing at an elite level here in this early half of the season. Tops in the league in touchdown passes at this point. This is definitely a wide-open offense, and we'll see if he can keep his string of good games going right here. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. He'll drop to throw. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. He'll look to throw. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Again, he'll drop to throw. This is Fant on the short completion. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. They'll run. It's Kenneth Walker. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Facing a second and six from the 8. Back to throw here. He's got Hooper on the out route. Touchdown, Seahawks! Austin Hooper, his first touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. 
And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys are a little bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way, just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'm trying to do better here. <laughs> Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, Sutherland. Tackle by Daryl Taylor. You talk about this Seahawk defense. They were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, the head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. He's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. First catch of the game for Cooks. It'll be a first down. Kelly to throw. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Play action, it's Kelly. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains to throw Kelly under pressure they got him again credit the sack to Jonathan Hankins well, that was their third sack of the ball game second in the league in sacks coming into this one they're planning on making it a race to the top aren't they absolutely they're looking up at that top spot but they might be looking down at the second spot pretty soon Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Now a second and ten. They're going to look to throw. As it completes to Jackson Smith and Jigba. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15, first and 10. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. The Seahawks at a perfect 5-0 here to begin the campaign. And they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring. Back to throw now on first down. He finds Smith and Jigba. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards for number 11. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So, Charles, you look at this offense, so what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5-6 of six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. An excellent game, 35 yards. Up the middle, here's Walker. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Oh, 
They'll run here with Edwards. And he will not be denied. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Gus Edwards. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. Walker is in. Touchdown, Seattle. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. 56, Looking to throw on second. Here's Kelly. There's a short one taken in by Otten. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Here's Kelly to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Straight ahead at Spiller. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 15. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it'll be Seahawks football first and 10. The Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. That's good for 28 yards. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. On second down, it's Walker. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Here's one deep for Pickens. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Buccaneers will take over here at their own 14-yard line. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. 
so we have come to half. Message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Butker now to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. The first play of the second half, a big success, over 30 yards. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Touchdown! DK Metcalf with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Seahawks take a three-touchdown lead. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's DK Metcalf who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. On first and 10, Kelly. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. But the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate. But I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least. That went out of bounds. You're exactly right. And as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. To throw is Kelly. This ball complete to Trey Palmer. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 43. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now a handoff up. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Seahawks have recovered. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. Too many mistakes by both of us. I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Touchdown, Seahawks! DK Metcalf, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and through by Myers, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Well, the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that, because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook. The bottom line is... So just three yards on the completion there. 
And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Now Kelly. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Max Borgie, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Seahawks get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Myers connects on the PAT. And that makes this 35 to nothing now. They have the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto, and so the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Now third down and very long. Now Kelly. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle. But they allow the conversion. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, it's Kelly. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Kelly. Otten brings it in over the middle. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Here's Kelly. And that's complete to Cooks. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Throwing on second and long. Kelly. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. The Bucks on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and forever. Looking to throw, Kelly. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no, they'll say no. It was caught out of bounds.
So this is just Pete Carroll, none too pleased with that last call. He's going to throw out the challenge flag. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So the decision to challenge does not pan out, and that's also going to cost him a timeout. Butker's kick here is good, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting. And oh, deep in his home territory, he coughs up the football, and he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And a question. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Catch is made by Metcalf. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. They'll look to throw here on first down. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Deep. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. DK Metcalf, 56 yards. And the Seahawks at on to their lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point up and through by Myers. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull the rabbit out of their hat. I got you. I got you. 56 to Mike. Kelly throwing to start the drive. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. From the gun, Kelly finding Otten once more. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw again. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time, multiple guys get to it. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Back to throw. Kelly. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. 
Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. That's going to be caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter, and Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams, and that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and here And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing a partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Operating from the gun, Kelly. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Up huge on the scoreboard, and they're still trying to add to their total. That shot doesn't connect, but I don't think it'll dissuade them from attempting another one. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Looking to throw. Kelly. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Nice little juke. Another nice move. And he's going to go down as time has now run out this game. Well, 
Fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for the Seahawks, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Carolina Panthers. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles,